America could lose a war against North Korea, former U.S. commander says in leaked letter the U.S. military would find itself outnumbered and undersupplied if war broke out with North Korea, a former top commander in the region has reportedly claimed. American troops are vastly outnumbered by North Korean forces, as well as allied forces that will conduct the overwhelming majority of the fighting, according to retired Lieutenant General Jan Mark Zhuas. They would also face problems in getting reinforcements or new supplies, he claimed, saying fresh troops may well find their bases subject to attack by conventional or chemical weapons, which will further delay their entry into the war. In a letter to members of Congress, obtained by Newsweek, Lt. General Zhu said even limited military action against Kim Jong-un's regime would be likely to precipitate a full-scale war, yet would probably not destroy Pyongyang's nuclear capability totally. He added, an enormous casualty an evacuee crisis will develop and include over 100,000 non-combatant Americans, many of who will turn to U.S. forces to get them off the peninsula. The use of nuclear weapons by Pyongyang could not be ruled out, he said. Lt. Gen. Zhuas was Deputy Commander of U.S. Forces Korea from January 2012 until his retirement in early 201. U.S. personnel in South Korea number about 28,500, Lt. Gen. Zhuas said, though news reports place recent figures both higher and lower. An all-out war with North Korea would be bloody in the extreme, experts believe, as the country has huge amounts of ordnance aimed at Seoul, the South's capital which is just a few dozen miles from the demilitarized zone. U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis has said the results of conflict would be catastrophic. According to the Council on Foreign Relations CFR, a U.S. think tank, Pyongyang has some 1.1 million personnel in its armed forces. The CFR added in a recent analysis, although Pyongyang is outspent by its neighbors and adversaries in dollar-to-dollar -dollar comparisons and defense experts say it operates with aging equipment and technology. The regime's forward deployed military position and missiles aimed at Seoul ensure that Pyongyang's conventional capabilities remain a constant threat to its southern neighbor. Lt. Gen. Zhuas letter comes at a time of heightened tension between the U.S. and North Korea, and as U.S. President Donald Trump is in the middle of a tour of the Asia-Pacific. However, Mr. Trump appears to have introduced a hint of a softer tone to his statements on North Korea. In Seoul earlier this week he said, it makes sense for North Korea to come to the table and make a deal that is good for the people of North Korea and for the world. Previously, he has threatened fire and fury.